to lose. All aboard with chaos. So here we are, Fort William Station, and there is the Lancashire Fusilier. Date is September 2021, and we're just going for a bit of a throwback video here, and we're just going to have a look at when I went on the Jacobite. The Jacobite Railway, and yeah, I went on board this beast. So we're just going to have a, a little bit of footage, just have a look at the loco. Obviously, crossing the um, Glen Finnan Glen Finnan Viaduct, and uh, yeah. So hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's go for a ride. So just uh, checking out the loco here. Quite a beast. Oh, and here we go. This was obviously not me sat on board the train at the time. I was, uh, this was actually the following day, but I was sat on, on the hillside there and I thought I'd just get some good footage of the loco as it was coming across the viaduct. I mean, what a beast. What a beast. Here she comes. I mean, I must admit, for anyone that's not done this yet, I recommend it because it's just bloody fantastic. And for those Harry Potter fans out there, this is the famous viaduct from, uh, from Harry Potter and you just gotta be done. You just gotta get it done. I mean look at that. What better way to see steam locomotives? So here we are at Malag. So this is at Malag station, this is at the end of the, the Jacobite line and uh, so I've just got off the train here and I'm just watching the loco now as it backs away. Effectively what it's going to do is go to the back of the coaches and then get ready for obviously pulling the train back to Fort William. So we're just watching it now as it goes out. Uh, somebody posing for a picture there, so we'll just get out of the way. Thank you very much. And away we go. Right, let's follow it. Let's follow it. Let's follow it. So yeah, for anyone that hasn't realised yet, I do like my steam locos, but I must admit, I don't know, I don't know the ins and outs of them. Um, so my my technical jargon is not very good, but I do have a passion for steam trains, and uh, from an engineering perspective, they are just an absolute marvel. I mean, this is the epitome of engineering, just British engineering. It's fantastic, and uh, yeah, for me, steam locomotives, it's it's what I get a buzz out of. So yes, you, you probably will have noticed that. Anyway, it was just uh, the the loco now is just backing up. It's just getting to the end of the points, so that they can switch the points and obviously decouple the loco, and then bring it forward. So yeah, they just got to decouple the point. Ah, uh, what am I saying? They've just got to uh, bring the loco back past the limit of the points just so that they can switch the points and then obviously bring the local forward so they're just doing that now my uh, ha handy uh, handy uh, camera skills here just just doing a fine job okay so I think we're good to go I think we're good to go the points have been switched over now there's uh, a couple of people just getting a photo here but the locomotive is ready to pull forward so the driver just gets back in there zooming out zooming out come on when you're ready when you're ready Here we go, she's underway, she's pulling forward. That's it, she's decoupled from the coaches, she's going. There she goes, I mean, what a beast that locomotive is. One of the, the Black Five locomotives. 
five NT. Absolute beast. There we go. So she's pulled forward. Again, just past the limit of the points. So now what they're going to do is switch the points again, just to allow the loco to run behind the carriages, and then obviously couple up to to the back of the, the, the back of the train there. So there's the uh, there's the magic. Moving the relevant levers, ready to shift the track over, and there we go. Is changed the points now, giving the okay for the loco to move back. And here she goes. It. actually got incredible sort of um, acceleration from it you know from a standing start it's actually got some pretty good acceleration to just get it going and uh, quite smoothly as well I know some some reviews of like model trains talk about that sort of very feature but the Lancashire fuselier there, she just demonstrated that that exact thing. She just uh, from a standing start, just pulled away, no problem. Brilliant. So there she goes. She's uh, on the other track there, and just going behind, going behind the carriages now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut to some footage of her now at the back. I did a little, at this point I did a little tour around the leg and then I came back and I managed to catch her just sort of pushing the carriages back into the into the platform there so you can just see that now. Loco is just coming in, she's at the back of the train and uh, just pushing those carriages in. So there we go, fantastic. So at this point I obviously got back on the train and yeah, got ready for the return journey back to Fort William. What a beast. Oh, slowly does it, slowly does it. She's just kind of nudging them forward a little bit. Just getting into position on the platform. There we go. Right, so the next shot on board the train there, managed to get a great shot of the loco as it crossed the viaduct. This is just fantastic and again just reiterate the fact that you know anybody that's not been on this this train yet needs to go on it because it is just brilliant, an amazing experience and you can make a weekend of it but I mean just look at this now, look at this loco as she goes across the viaduct, absolutely fantastic. The, 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 the curve of the viaduct is just brilliant to get an amazing shot of the loco as she's going around. No matter which carriage you're on, you can just snap this loco as she's going around. And uh, yeah, you just get some really beautiful video footage here. Fantastic. So there we go. Just across the viaduct now. And so this again, obviously, I wasn't on the loco at the time. This is a, uh, it is, it is the same loco. It is the Fusilier, but this is me on the Sunday. I've just sat on the the banking at the side, and I just managed to snap this this footage of her coming across the viaduct, and just to get a bit of a different perspective as she's coming across. And I quite like this bit of footage because it's actually raining as well. So it just gives a nice sort of uh, effect with the rain coming down, but the, the steam locomotive just sort of pounding away there. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's, I, I, I'm quite pleased with that shot to be honest. It's, uh, it's quite a nice effect. So there we go, and uh, here we are. So we're back at Fort William now. With the, we've uh, exited the train, got back onto the platform. This is the end of the day, and uh, this is effectively the loco in Fort William and uh, obviously going back to the shed or wherever she got, gets packed up. So that's it, away she goes. Another adventure complete. Brilliant. 
so there we go that's all the footage for this one thank you very much for watching everyone take care and I'll catch you on the next video bye for now Thank you.